Hey y'all, my name is Kurt. This is Trenton. Welcome to SLB Basement Bourbon Bar. And tonight, Trenton, you brought in something I didn't expect to see for at least a few more weeks. Well, we're first off, we're starting off on the right foot because I didn't lose this one like I did the Charlie's Batch. <laughs> That's great. Wonderful. Normally we do like a single bottle review on the bookers, mm -hmm. but Try when you buy a bottle and then lose it, you can't do a video on it. I honestly looked for a couple hours. And I, I'm just, I think somebody stole it or it. I sure. put it on, on the hood of the car and drove off. What do it. you think, honey? You think somebody actually stole it? Probably not. Probably yeah. I'm thinking no. I don't lose stuff usually. So it's a little bit out of character for me, but it's not out of character for me to leave something in a hot car, which this is not. This is this is nice room temp. I, you know, I, I didn't think about it. But when yeah. I poured us a little bit here, I thought, you know, yeah, yeah it is. It's actually... I'm proud of you. I know. I'm I've, just like, I'm floored here. We get this booker several weeks earlier than we normally would. The bottle's nice and cool at, at room temperature. After you try <sighs> Crown Apple 23 that's been sitting in a hot car, <laughs> I'm a changed man after that. <laughs> that really that really did be one. But this is the Booker's Apprentice batch. Yes. The I think this was either 84 or 89.99. Can't remember. Which is great because, you know, for some reason in my head, I thought all the releases... Booker's releases were going to be closer to that $100 mark. So, you know, it does my heart good. You told me $89. So it, I, I feel good that you actually got this for, you know, MSRP is 90 bucks. So that's great. Oh, is it? Okay. So you got it for 90 bucks. So that's fantastic. Cool. Well, yeah, with with there being a little bit of a markup sometimes, mm -hmm. sure. I, expe I did Every expect Every store. Like yeah. 99 bucks. Sure. 104, something like that. I know. Now, I'm a little bit worried though, because I don't know if the price is exactly MSRP because The Apprentice made it. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Well, well, let's hope not. But I think this came from like six-ish warehouses. Couple, yeah, I did couple... look at the card. Six warehouses. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you did look at the card. I did, just for a second. Yeah, six um, different warehouses. They all came from a different warehouse, mm -hmm. different letters of the alphabet. Yeah. I do know my alphabet, but I don't remember the letters of the warehouses in no, which they came from. No, I don't either. So, You're right. Um, it's, it's on the card here. Um, H-W-I-O-G-Z. Okay. There you go. Yeah, and it's a little over seven years too, and I think yeah. there was a few of them last year that dipped under that seven year in the six year, 10 month range. Right. But this one here is what, seven year, one month or something like that? In two days, yeah. Seven year, one wow. month, and two days, 125.1 proof, if my memory's right. 125.5. Ooh. <clears throat> yeah, well, with the rounding, do you round up or down when it's a, when it's a 0.5? <laughs> up? Yep. Well, you wouldn't do good then. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. I'm a loser. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, <laughs> apprentice batch. We'll see how it is. I don't. Yeah. I don't know much Let's about it. Out, we just. I just got this. Perfect. What are we filming? Sunday. Today's Sunday. Yeah. Two days ago, I just got this. So we'll see. We'll see what it's all about. Nice. I'm excited about it. This is. This has been open for about an hour now, I think. Mm -hmm. And this has been poured. Did you give me a little roll in the glass? I sure did. Okay. Wow. Very I tried nice. to set you up the best I could. Wow. That's really nice of you. <laughs> I know. Sometimes I kind of you know do some you know not so helpful things. I don't know that I could. That was if, nice today. If you ever roll these on Kerr versus Trent, I might have to second guess that because you might be trying to get some points. You might put a little like a, like a little Tabasco in there or something and really <laughs> screw me up. <laughs> a damp dish rag, you know, wipe your glass out with a old dish rag or something. Something like that. Something like that. That wouldn't surprise me at all. <laughs> it would not. I would never do. <laughs> I don't know, Trent. It's not, I don't, I'm not the best at, at, nosing aromas and, and whiskeys that whew, that are faint this is a little faint in the nose yeah i'm not getting a whole lot either not, usually when not you a lot. usually when you when you say you don't get a ton not to like discredit you or anything but i'm like eh. oh i don't know i get that I, I had that sinus surgery stuff so you know if something's not profound or rich it's it's difficult for me sometimes you ever had a lacroix sure you know how have you ever heard the joke where it's like somebody like set a, a glass of or a, a can of LaCroix next to the flavor like they put LaCroix next to a lemon and that's how it got its flavor. <laughs> this this kind of smells like that. It doesn't that really make sense. I haven't heard that. It makes sense. Yeah, it doesn't smell like a whole lot. No, it really doesn't. I'm getting a real light, maybe a maybe a light caramel note, I'm guessing. It smells kind of sweet. I do get that like yeah, I guess. sweetness, yeah. but it's not like yeah. usually with Booker's, they're like... Uh, it almost seems a little grainy on the nose. Does it? Like a sweet grainy note does that make any sense to you whatsoever like the farmers that puts this like the wheat straw in their mouth like that kind of thing <laughs> possibly yes i don't know yeah it doesn't i i think yeah i don't really get a whole lot from yeah. the from the nose on this one yeah i don't either 
Hopefully the apprentice didn't do us too bad here. Hmm. Oh, you know, one thing I noticed, Trenton, whoo, first swallow, I didn't get a whole lot of alcohol on the nose. You know what? That you normally that. with Booker's you do. And the only reason I thought of it is when I took that first sip, I was like, oh, wow. Okay, now now I'm getting that use, the normal Booker's burn, you know, because it is pretty stealth. It is pretty heavy on the alcohol. After you smell burn, the Booker's, you know that you're smelling some Booker's. Yeah. Because like, it really kind of But it doesn't seem over. that way on the nose. But on the palate, kind of came in like a freight train. Well, and even when I smell it a little too hard, you know, like sometimes I'll accidentally put my schnoz a little bit too far in there and it trims my nose and a little <laughs> nose hairs a little bit in there. Even when I like go like full send on the nose in here, it doesn't, it still doesn't really give me much of even the ethanol that you get from that usually. But I definitely get it on the palate. That 125.5 proof comes through on the palate, that's for sure. But I'm a bit curious of what you're gonna say. On your, you know, you're, you're really good at your tasting notes. You really usually have three or four, you know, expounding notes for everyone. On the positive, there's a positive here. I think the... Well, give the, it to me because I'm struggling to find it. The, the mouth feels nice. It's, okay. All right. It, yeah, I can. It, yeah. It's, it's a little bit of a, like the mix between like a syrup mm -hmm. and... Um, well, it's like a little syrupy, like a little diluted syrup. Yeah, I'd say the viscosity is close to a medium viscosity. It isn't it isn't creamy by any stretch, mm -hmm. but it definitely isn't light. It's definitely not, you know, watery by any stretch. It definitely has a little bit of uh, thickness to it. Well, the unfortunate part with that viscosity is that it lingers quite a bit. And it's not very good. So it kind of sticks around. Very bitter. Like very bitter. I still have something like right up in here that is just I... asphalty, <laughs> kind of. You ever drive past like when they're paving a road? I think I might. Honey, you have to look at my throat later tonight because I think I might have a few oak splinters coming down in my esophagus. Oh, what do you mean? It's oaky. Oh, I thought you meant for real. Okay. <laughs> no, it's it's very bitter and it... it's it's some. It's, it's unfortunately very dry oaky for me in a bitter way. It's definitely not a sweet oak, that's for sure. It's a drying, oaky, bitter note. I can get a slight caramel or, you know, I think what I, what I honestly, Trenton, you may think this is silly. Have you heard some of my notes? And I, <laughs> I might be stepping out. I was just gonna say, I might be stepping out a little bit into your territory. That's what I like to see. But you remember how your mom usually gets that sugar-free pancake syrup or something like that? Like the low-fat pancake syrup? Sugar-free stuff? Like the Cairo? Cairo? Oh, my God. If he says that, honey. Cairo syrup? Yeah, is it that? Or are you talking like a... Cairo Please help him with that, honey. It's just like fat-free syrup? Is that what you're saying? Maple syrup? Light or sugar-free, sugar-free pancake syrup. Which yeah, you is can not buy. Syrup. What, what are some of the brands? I like log. What is log that? Log cabin. I was gonna say log cabin. Yeah. So oh you, come on, you log can get cabin. It. <laughs> Put the sugar in it. Well, they do have sugar. You know, you're not at the. But I didn't buy it. You're not at the point of your life where you need certain things to be sugar-free. I'll know? always put sugar in it. <laughs> I get that, but like a log cabin, sugar-free pancake syrup. So in other words, it there's a little bit of relative sweetness that I'm getting more like a pancake syrup but not in a real good way it's more of like a sugar-free type of a this tastes like it was aged in a log cabin <laughs> bitter oak is up front there, there's absolutely no question about that <clears throat> I'm gonna be honest with you I don't think I've had a, a batch of bookers that I've disliked as much as this one. Yeah, and I will tell you this too. Not that long ago, he was down here, and then one of the batches I disliked, and I don't remember what year it came out, was Teresa's batch. That was 2019. 
Yeah, and I, I just, it wasn't my favorite. Dude, was that one sitting, was a banger. What are you talking about? Yeah, and about? I said, you can take it home. And he and did. And I enjoyed it. And he it's did. Good. And, and so, you know, there's some, there's been some like that where we, you know, argued a little bit. Oh, is it good? Is it bad? Or is it whatever? But this one, I can't, I don't know. You like Teresa's batch more than this? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, and I'd really like if any of you folks out there have had the opportunity to try this and you really do like it to a certain extent, I'd really love to hear that in the comments and, and hear your argument to the to the pro of why you like this here because I really can't find much about it that I particularly like that much. And that's unfortunate. I was pretty excited because I it was, was $90. It wasn't that $100 I was expecting. You know, and you got it. We got it early. Right, yeah. You know, I figured we, the one we, we get never early. do that. Well, and it's just, I'm just not, I'm just pretty disappointed right now. If I had to sure. pick a positive, I think that the, the, uh, the mouthfeel is nice. It's even better when you have a good profile to go with the viscosity because it really coats yeah. your mouth. Sure. But yeah, I'm, I'm struggling to find anything apart from that that I'm a big fan of. All right. I pulled this bottle out just in case. This is a just in caser. If this was fantastic, I wouldn't even have brought this out. But this is a, this is a Knob Creek regular single barrel release is that like the store picks no 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 it's not oh. a, it's not a barrel pick it's not a store pick we have our barrel pick over there and some of those are fantastic if you get those, those. Good, yeah. yeah some of them are great this is just a regular single barrel you can get off the shelf this is nine years age stated on the label 120 proof right is that this that that, yeah that's what i poured you there now when i was when i was shopping for these a while ago trenton if they were probably around 50 bucks i would have to assume it went up it's probably around 60 bucks i'm guessing if because this is an old bottling too, if if yeah, if I'm thinking of the right one, it's like mm -hmm. I think fifty nine ninety nine now. For yeah, this. and I would assume so, and I get that everything goes up, so I'm not going to complain about that. So it's probably about sixty bucks, uh, nine year age stated, hundred twenty proof single barrel. Let's taste this and see how it compares to this particular release of, of the Booker's the Apprentice batch. I would take a bath in that. That's delicious. <laughs> It's like, like butterscotchy and kind of cherry, you know? Like yeah, I got a little bit of cherry too. But it's night and day, and truthfully for me, I know a lot of folks out there they love this single barrel Knob Creek. For me personally, I would rank probably the nine year a little bit above this and the twelve year especially. But this is extremely solid. It's sixty dollars. It's nine years age stated. It's one hundred twenty proof. I mean, that's. Yeah. A million times better than that. Yeah, it's it's a lot, lot better. Now there are some bookers out there that come out that are very good. Oh yeah. You know, we can't dispute that whatsoever. But for this particular exercise we're doing here right now. I'm gonna give that I'm gonna give this a <laughs> thumbs down. If you have a if you have a uh what is it what do they call it? Like money bowl burning a hole in your pocket? Right. Money bowling. If you have money burning a hole in your pocket and you need to buy something, mm -hmm buy this. Because mm -hmm. this is mm -hmm. really good. Mm -hmm. If you have the opportunity to buy this just me, I would recommend you pass. Yeah. Especially for the price. 90 yeah. bucks ain't cheap, and that is not. Yeah, unfortunately, it's, it's a pass for me, too. And, and and that's a real bummer. It is. It just is. It's Especially so since I lost the Charlie's batch. I was hoping that this would be good, too, so that I could make up for that. But And now we'll never know. I'm, I'm, trying, to, I'm trying to find one still. Well, let's hope so. I'm trying to find one still. <laughs> All right. Well, that's the unfortunate news of tonight. Boy, I, I'm sorry about that, but. If one thing we have to be is honest. So, hey, as always, we ask you to please drink responsibly. And we'll see you next time right down here with Trent and I in a good old basement bourbon bar. See you later.